Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth podcast of the uh, ecology unit. We are going to be taking a quick look at carbon and the nitrogen cycles today. And these are our th uh, second and third cycles. Remember our first one was the water cycle uh, where we looked at the process of um, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and then pooling again. Uh, very similar cycles here with the carbon and nitrogen. Um, the carbon and nitrogen present on the planet have been here since the beginning of time, just like with water. Um, and they flow in a cycle. So the carbon cycle, we're going to be looking at atmospheric carbon dioxide and then what we're going to call terrestrial carbon dioxide. So this is going to be atmospheric CO2. We'll start up here and we'll do this in blue, I guess. So atmospheric carbon dioxide, this is gaseous carbon. Gaseous. So carbon dioxide is what we are exhaling all of the time. Um, when humans exhale or animals exhale, animals exhale, plants they use CO2 for photosynthesis, where they take uh, sunlight energy and they take carbon dioxide and they split water to release um, extra energy by forming new bonds in glucose and sugar. Uh, so this is the autotroph portion of the process. So this atmospheric carbon dioxide is taken in by a plant. Uh, we can see over here in the trees. and. Uh, they're organic compounds. Remember, organic is anything that contains carbon. So these trees are pulling atmospheric carbon dioxide into it. And essentially what happens is that carbon works its way back through the plant and enters the soil again down here to the carbon solids in the soil. And that's the terrestrial carbon. And I'll do this in black so we can denote the two. Terrestrial carbon. And so this is carbon that's stuck in the ground, ground-based or organic material. Okay, you are terrestrial carbon. The carbon in your cells is part of locked up carbon atoms. Uh, when things die, so like when trees die, they can go one of two ways. We can either burn them, okay, so burning uh, carbon-containing compounds, so burning carbon will produce CO2 and it will become atmospheric carbon again. It will recycle itself or when it dies it will enter the ground and get broken down by bacteria or fungi or things like that and it will eventually become a fossil fuel and these are oils or it is oil, uh, coal and things like that. Uh, so carbon can go a couple different ways. First of all you can take it in and then you can exhale it out as carbon dioxide as waste or we can take it in by consuming organic compounds and recycle it back through the ground, or we can burn it and release it again back into the atmosphere. So carbon is going to be either stuck in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide, or it's going to be stuck in the ground as a carbon-containing compound. Uh, and so there's a lot of uh, research right now going about how to remove some of this atmospheric carbon and put it back into the ground. And we can talk uh, more about that research later if you're interested in it. So let me find my mouse. And then let's take a look at the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is very similar to the carbon cycle in the sense that it is atmospheric. So nitrogen in the atmosphere here. And then there's nitrogen in terrestrial um, groups. So there's atmospheric nitrogen again, and that's going to be mostly, so in the atmosphere, mostly N2, nitrogen gas. Uh, the atmosphere right now is 78% or so nitrogen gas, so the majority of the atmosphere, the majority of the gases that you're inhaling every second of every single day is nitrogen. We don't use it, so it goes right back out. There can also be nitrogen uh, put into the ground by animals through their waste. Um, so animal waste will produce nitrogen compounds. Okay, uh, the animal waste typically is urine. Okay, so that bad smell that urine had, you're smelling a nitrogen compound that will eventually find its way back into the ground. And this waste comes from breaking down organic compounds. So when you eat a salad, you are taking in some nitrogen from the protein in the salad, and then it gets shuffed out through your body by your excretory system, and it ends up eventually in the ground, where what happens is bacteria will take the urine or the waste and it's called fixing it. And bacteria fix the nitrogen to get it back to plants. 
okay? So, and we can see this over here. So the animal will take it in, it ingests it, and then it comes out as waste. The bacteria then fix it where it stays in the ground. So the bacteria fix the nitrogen, and then it gets back into the plants. Um, and so there's, there's a cycle here more so in the terrestrial side of it than in the atmospheric. But again, we can find nitrogen in the atmosphere, or we can find it in terrestrial where it starts as animal wastes, um, the bacteria fix it, and then it heads back into the plant system so it can be recycled through again.